Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have a very useful video. I'm going to teach you how to connect your Android phone to your wired USB printer. Now this is a very basic printer. It's the Epson L120 specifically and it only allows you to print through this cable. So this tutorial is great for people who have a printer like this that doesn't support Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. But if you do also happen to have a printer that does support wireless printing, then sometimes that may fail due to no Wi-Fi connection or no Bluetooth connection, and you might want to use the cable instead. Now you might be thinking, how will we be able to plug this type of USB cable directly into the phone? Well, the short answer is you can't. So we'll be needing ad an adapter for that. And I have two adapters I want to show you over here. So the type of adapter you need is called a USB-C to USB adapter. Now keep in mind as a quick disclaimer, that this video is only designed for USB-C phones. So if your phone has a port that looks like this, then this adapter will work. If you have a different type of port, then I can't guarantee that it will work even if you buy the correct adapter. Now let's continue. So this is the most basic type of adapter you can get. It converts your phone's USB-C port into a USB port, which we can use with a printer. But I also have a different type of adapter that I want to recommend. This is called a multi-port adapter and they come in many different shapes and sizes. Now this one over here has multiple ports on the opposite side. Other adapters may have a long cable that comes with them, but this one plugs directly into your phone and it's just a solid piece like that. So there's no wires or anything. Now on the other end, we have an HDMI port, USB port, USB-C port and headphone jack. So with all of these ports, you can actually turn your phone into a sort of computer so you can connect it to a monitor, mouse, keyboard, printer, speakers while plugging in and charging the phone through this USB-C port. So I just wanted to recommend this since you might find it useful as well. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the most basic adapter that we can use, which is just the standalone USB-C to USB adapter. So you want to plug this into your device and then you're gonna grab the cable of your printer and plug it into the other end. Now make sure that your printer is turned on. So depending on the manufacturer, you might wanna check with a manual, but usually there's just an on button like this one over here. And with this particular printer, if it's off, it doesn't light up at all. But when it's on, you'll see a green light. So as of now, I'm turning it off so you can see. Once your printer lights up or has some indicator like that, then that means it's on. Again, check with the manual since this may vary depending on your model. Now on your phone, you wanna open the Google Play Store, then search for this app called Noco Print. Now I'm not sponsored by this app, but it does work. So we're gonna tap on install and wait for it to download. Once the app is downloaded, press open. And now this is what the main menu will look like. So we can select photos and images documents or web pages to print since it's a free app you will see ads however if you want to get rid of them you can tap on the letter i icon on the top right then tap on disable ads and there are options to subscribe or pay a lifetime fee to remove the ads and it's only about five dollars so it's not too expensive now you can tap any of these options to open up something to print or you can actually print directly from the app now as an example, I'm in my phone's gallery app. I'm gonna tap on the share icon at the bottom, then tap on no print. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm assuming that's the correct one. So now I'm presented with a print preview. And like I said earlier, you can select what to print within the app or within another app, just like what I did from the gallery app, as long as you press share and tap on the app. Now you can tap on the settings icon on the top right to adjust the parameters. But since this is just a demonstration i'm gonna press print and then i'm gonna press on this wire icon and then i'm gonna tap okay so we're gonna confirm okay now it shows my printer like i mentioned earlier this is the epson l120 i'm gonna tap on it it's showing me this message so i'm gonna tap on use generic since that will also work, and then continue. Now what it's doing is downloading the drivers onto the phone. Now that it's done, I'm gonna press okay. 
and then we can press print again. Whoops. So not gonna adjust any of the parameters since it's just a demonstration. Now ideally, you wanna print a picture onto photo paper, but since this is just a tutorial, I don't wanna waste photo paper just for that. So we're using normal bond paper. Check this out. The image was printed from the phone. Now my print is kind of broken since there are lines going through it. But you get the point, right? You're now able to print with just your phone and this little adapter. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. Feel free to leave a comment, question, or suggestion down below. And please like and subscribe for more. And also for the channel. So, thanks for watching.